to the platform Swiss Liver Patients Association, Swiss HEPA. Today, with an animated film about hepatitis B. Welcome. In this video, we would like to tell you about hepatitis B. If you have any questions concerning your personal situation, we advise you to get in touch with your doctor. The liver is a large organ located under your ribcage on the right-hand side of your abdomen. It performs several important functions. It filters impurities from the blood, performs metabolic functions such as processing food, and stores iron and vitamins. The liver also produces bile, which is essential for digestion. No one can survive without a liver. Hepatitis means inflammation of the liver, and it can occur if someone drinks too much alcohol, stores too much fat in the liver, or contracts a viral infection. Hepatitis B is a liver infection caused by a virus. Worldwide, there are around 257 million people with chronic hepatitis B. In Switzerland, around 44,000 people are affected by it. The hepatitis B virus can be spread through contact with contaminated semen, body fluids or contaminated blood. This can happen by sharing unsterilized needles, for example, while injecting drugs or being tattooed. It can also be spread by sharing razors or toothbrushes. You need to take precautions in such situations. Hepatitis B can also be spread through intimate physical contact if your blood comes into contact with the blood of your partner or if your partner's blood comes into contact with your own. People who are at risk can be vaccinated against Hepatitis B. The virus is not spread by shaking someone's hand, hugging them, kissing someone on the cheek, or by a mother breastfeeding her baby. There's a high risk that a mother will pass the virus onto her baby at birth. In Switzerland, Pregnant women are tested for hepatitis B so the precautions can be taken. People with the virus may experience flu-like symptoms, general fatigue, nausea, vomiting, aching muscles and jaundice. The symptoms could last days or weeks. 80% of the people who contract the virus are able to recover without medication. Unfortunately, this percentage is much lower in the case of children. If the virus can still be found in the blood six months after it is first detected, this is termed chronic hepatitis B. Many people won't experience symptoms, but some patients get tired more easily or develop skin complaints or painful joints. In the case of chronic hepatitis B, the virus can be present in the liver without activating the immune system. The liver is not inflamed and there is no liver damage. In most cases, no treatment is required. But the immune system may be fighting the virus. In which case, the liver is inflamed and treatment should be considered. Regular blood tests will keep track of how the virus and immune system are behaving. If the liver is chronically inflamed, scar tissue may develop. This is known as liver fibrosis and prevents the liver from functioning properly. Scarring develops at different rates in different people. It largely depends on how often and to what extent the liver is inflamed. Drinking too much alcohol or being overweight, which can cause too much fat to be stored in the liver, as well as other liver infections, can affect the speed of this process. This can ultimately lead to cirrhosis, a condition when the liver becomes full of scar tissue. Your doctor will take blood samples to see which stage the disease has reached and send you for an ultrasound examination. Sometimes, a sample of liver tissue may be taken for further examination. If your liver functioning is impaired due to cirrhosis, you may develop jaundice, build up fluid in your abdominal cavity, become confused, contract infections, or develop bleeding in your esophagus. Chronic hepatitis B also increases your risk of liver cancer. This risk is especially high for people with cirrhosis, middle-aged individuals of Asian ethnicity, people from Central and Southern Africa, and those with a family history of liver cancer. People can die from the consequences of chronic hepatitis B. Mm -hmm. 
Unfortunately, there is no cure for chronic hepatitis B. But if the condition is treated early, there's less risk of developing cirrhosis and liver cancer. If the liver is already scarred, it can partially recover if you receive the right treatment. There are two kinds of treatments for chronic hepatitis B. Most people are prescribed medication to slow the growth of the virus in your body. These medicines are effective and have a good tolerability profile. But they have to be taken for a long time and probably even for life. The medication must be taken exactly as directed. If not, the virus may start to grow again and you'll be at risk of serious liver damage. That's why you should never stop taking your medication without consulting your doctor. A small group of patients will be prescribed a medication called PEG interferon. The medication will be temporary and, if it works well, it is possible that you will not need to take any additional kind of medication to control the virus. But there are side effects from PEG interferon. If you are prescribed this drug, there can be side effects that should be taken into account if you are planning to conceive, if you might be pregnant, or if you are breastfeeding. Talk to your doctor about which treatment is most suitable for you. Thank you very much for the informative animated film about hepatitis B with the kind support of Gilead. Many thanks.